and now we're drifting and floating through time and space. We're looking for the most appropriate time, the most appropriate place to find information that is helpful and healing. We're moving to that time and to that place. When I count to three, you'll be there. One, moving to that time and place. Two, beginning to feel and sense and see this new time and new place. Three, you've now arrived at that new time and that new place. Tell me your first impressions. What do you see and sense and feel there? I'm seeing an energy, a purple energy around me. Mm -hmm. Purple energy around you. Tell me about it. It looks like purple fire. Mm -hmm. Purple fire. What kind of fire? When I inhale, the fire grows. And when I exhale, it goes down. So it comes and goes with my breath. And so this fire moves through you? This may be my... Yes. Mm -hmm. It's part of my energy body. Mm -hmm. It's purple due to the emotional, um, just the frequency that I'm emitting right now is emitting a purple, a deep purple frequency. It has blue sparkles in it. Blue sparkles. How does it feel there in this field of purple and blue? My heart feels very anxious. Mm -hmm. My head, my head feels a little foggy. Mm -hmm. I wonder why that is. Tune into it and tell me what you feel. Why is the heart feeling like this? It's like when you are about on a roller coaster and you're on that part at the beginning where the ride hasn't kicked into full gear so you're going up up the incline to start the ride mm -hmm. and that feeling of here it comes feeling in the heart the head the head is slightly foggy there are you know that there can be interference there are frequencies. Okay. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I can explain that. You are at war and you don't necessarily know it. Populations can be manipulated with frequencies. Her natural frequency counteracts the frequencies that are coming down. Mm -hmm. So she's got a grounding wire on her foot. Mm -hmm. She's like, like the medicine for the mm -hmm. frequency. Mm -hmm. 
That's wonderful. I'd like to ask for Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael to come and also take care of the energies to support her. Is this appropriate? Yes. Very good. I'd like to welcome them in to hold the space and clear the distortion energies. What else do you see around you? What kind of space are you in there? I seem to always be at the bottom of the pyramid looking up. Um, it's like a cap. Mm -hmm. um, it's a cap. What is a cap? Describe it to me. It's the pyramid is capping me into this dimension or reality. Like it holds me down in here, into the body. Mm -hmm. I can walk through it. And when we have our sessions, I open up the top and walk through the top. When you lay the pyramid flat, it becomes an X or kind of like a cross. Mm -hmm. And when I see that cross, when I close my eyes, I can open up the center mm -hmm. and try to walk through it. Mm -hmm. you I see think that's the way there? out. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the cross. Mm -hmm. I can get up to the top. The top of the pyramid is made out of something special, like metals. It sort of drifts over me all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's um, like it, it's a metaphysical thing or an esoteric thing. It's not mm -hmm. while she can see it, it's not necessarily in the same dimension. I don't know if other people could see it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense to me. These caps. Yes. These caps are like bullhorns upside down so that the energy is amplified towards the planet versus your soul. Like if the opening was, if it was a cube and you were open, you go up through the top, you connect your soul, you go back to your soul, you go, everything goes back up to source. So when we cap it with a pyramid, you can use that to like funnel the energy down. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So the energy comes from a higher dimension down through the point. Yes. And down into the earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. And into the body, mm -hmm. into your bodies. Mm -hmm. That's how we get the souls into the bodies. Mm -hmm. And what do you see happening there now? I see Mike, um, what do you call that thing? It's used in the lab and I can't remember the name of it. Mm -hmm. Not a mi is it a microscope? A microscope. Mm -hmm. I see a microscope. Mm -hmm. What's happening with the microscope? There are things in a Petri dish. Mm -hmm. They are glow. They have a glowing. It's bringing the Petri dish really close in. It's this glowing stuff. It's hard. Um, mm -hmm. You're doing a great job. I don't know what that stuff is. Well, 
as you describe it, you'll know I don't more. know what that is. Mm -hmm. Okay. It seems to be moving. Mm -hmm. It has its own presence. It's kind of plasma looking like. I feel like the angels are pushing that away. Mm -hmm. The angels are pushing that away. They're cleaning and clearing it. Mm -hmm. How do they do that? With their wings. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So their wings just clear it away and send it off? Yes, I can see them with their wings. They, and the wings are actually a metaphor. It's not, yeah. mm -hmm. but it looks like that. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. I understand. But they look mean. like they're flying over me, mm -hmm. and sweeping over. Oh, they wanted to remind me about the vision I had with the feathers of the mandala that I had forgotten. Mm -hmm. A dream I had once where I woke up and they had made a mandala of feathers around me and on top of me like they laid their they plucked the feathers from their wing and laid the feathers over me in a mandala and they wanted to remind me that those feathers are there And how do you use those feathers? Those feathers keep out that those frequencies. And so I just need to remember that they're there. And that will help with the headache. Just kind of had a little headache the last couple of days because they've they've turned up the juice. They're turning up the juice in California. Who's and in there? her area. Mm -hmm. Those who wish to control, those who, the, the dark, the, mm -hmm. the archons, the dark forces, the, they're, you know, the demons and that appear, the illusions of demons that appear illusionally, like they're not really human. Those that are making up the rules. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about these forces and how they're working right now. They're in panic mode. Mm -hmm. they're in panic so mode. what they're doing, mm -hmm. they're going to make mistakes so that their mistakes are so obvious that they don't, they have underestimated those who are watching them. And they will make mistakes. They will entrap themselves. And they will be removed. Mm -hmm. But this is going to take a little bit of time mm -hmm. as it plays out, I think, in our time, mm -hmm. in Earth time. Mm -hmm. In Earth time, mm -hmm. it takes, it's hard to see from where I stand looking at it. Mm -hmm. So these beings that are trying to control humanity and are, are noticing that things are, are starting to lose their grip. And so they're yes. getting desperate. Mm -hmm. They're sloppy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sloppy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you give an example of what that would look like? Yes. Mm -hmm. Describe it to me. What do you see there? Uh, I see people running around trying to shred papers, delete things, reset things so that they think they can can get away with it because there won't be the proof. Mm -hmm. 
but they've underestimated the majority. So they have underestimated. So their last attempt is this attempt. Mm -hmm. well, when you say last attempt, what is the last attempt? Describe it to me. The last attempt will be th this forced vaccines. Mm -hmm. They will try to force this, but it won't. It's she. Wow. but it won't work because enough people don't want it and, but it will be their downfall because their work is sloppy and those who harm others for profit, that type of mentality can no longer sustain structure they're trying what they're trying to do with the frequencies is counteract the energy that's coming <laughs> but the energy that's coming is so grandiose that there's nothing can stop stop it mm -hmm. the energies from the like we're going into a new energetic field it almost looks like a fog or a cloud rolling in rolling in the like rolling through the universe um, in San Francisco, it's like when the fog comes in, it's almost like you can stand on one street and be in the sunshine and then walk into the fog. It's that type of a density of particles that when these density of particles, even if you can't see it like that, what this, these dense particles do is they they oh, they are vibrating so that certain things can't attach itself mm -hmm. any longer to this planet or this you know this matrix they have to go to a place where they can attach just like a ringworm or a parasite of some sort so it has to go it has to go on it has mm -hmm. it can't it just sort of disintegrates if it tries to stay. Mm -hmm. So these people feel the disintegration in their system, but they're not, they still think they don't, they're panicking, but they don't think they're going to lose it yet. Like they haven't, they don't know they've lost yet. Mm -hmm. They think they're going to get away with it. I don't think they will. Mm -hmm. So this energy is coming through the universe and it's going to basically bring a new, mm, a revitalized energy in that the dirty stuff can't really stick around. Is that what you mean? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What does that look like when it's coming to the earth, this energy? Is it like... How does it, how do we notice it? You notice it because people will start to choose to do things differently, like not just follow orders or not just follow along. The physical light on the planet increases like the daylight looks brighter you might even be able to see the sparks in the air things are about to heat up mm -hmm. when you say things are about to heat up what does that look like it looks like air is getting warmer it not in a global warming way this is like a very quick it feels like the the heat is coming from the ground 
the surface feels warmer. My skin feels warmer. The, it looks brighter. Things look brighter. People look shinier, like they're glowing more from the inside. The biggest way you'll be able to tell is that people will start emotionally reacting very differently on in a grand way. Less mean, reaction, like less fear and anger and more like less fear and anger and disp and being disempowered and more like kind of laughing it off like you don't have any power over me nice try like get out of here mm -hmm. and it works like as soon as people stand up everything falls down you know what i mean they're yeah. they don't expect us to follow they didn't expect when they cheated with the election they didn't think they'd have to to add that many votes to the machine. Mm -hmm. So what they broke, like everyone who voted for the current president, like broke the algorithm. Like they didn't know that, like they knew people were awake, but they didn't know that many people were awake. They didn't expect it. And so it, it forced them to cheat in a bigger way last minute. That will be very sloppy and has already been exposed on video with people like stealing thumb drives and adding ballots and mm -hmm. all that is all going to come out. Mm -hmm. And it's very possible that the whole election will be called null and that we'll either go through legislators to the Supreme Supreme court or legislators deciding per state or we'll have to vote again. But you'll, so December 14th through the 21st, we want to hold the line of freedom and sovereignty. Please hold the line. Mm -hmm. Noticing that Rita is feeling emotion around that, maybe you can describe more about what she's feeling and what she's going through. We need to unlock her throat. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Go ahead and begin doing that, please. And tell me what's happening. It has to do with singing mm -hmm. and making sacred sounds. Can you show her what that means, please? Mm -hmm. Has to do with Hebrew words and the tongue position. And that when you when Hebrew was first written, it was written based on looking at where the tongue hit when the sounds were made. Mm -hmm. And there's a repression. It's magic. It's, you know, it's the ultimate frequency is your power of your own voice. It's very important to keep singing. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to keep singing? <sighs> they, the powers that are trying to repress the people do not want you making sounds, noise, they know, they don't want you gathering to sing together. After three minutes of singing together, everyone's heartbeat syncs up to the same rhythm. They don't want us synced up. They're tr what they're trying to block ultimately is the ascension. Mm -hmm. And so when you sing together, it helps the group ascend together 
it goes into that um, the you know we're all going on a journey together we're walking each other home and we're climbing a giant mountain and it's a long steep path you can only go one at a time on this journey but when you look in front of you, there's a line of people in front of you. And when you look behind you, there's a line of people behind you. And the people in front of you are not better than you. The people behind you are not below you. They're just two minutes. It's just a timing thing. They're just yeah. two minutes behind you on the road. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not a good, better or worse, but mm -hmm. we're all going together. Where we go, what? Mm -hmm. We're all going. And we have to go together. It's sad to see the fear and to know that even as I stand on the trail, I see those standing in the woods that need to get on the trail and they're afraid. But we're not like nobody gets left behind. What does that mean? No one gets left behind. It means that this will take as long as it takes until everyone who God promised ascension to at this time, the promise was made. And so the population on this planet is very specific to the ascension. People who tell you that the planet is overpopulated don't understand the spiritual significance of what's going on right now. We're not having this giant population to like damage and rape the earth or anything like that. It's, it's to do, it was to throw down as many experts, at, like all the ascension experts are here now in body whether they know it or not they're the ascension expert and they're all down here now to get us to 20 you know to get us through the next two decades as we work through this process you know I don't know the timeline specifically of how long it's going to take but I know that that's why it's emotional because it takes the time it takes to get everyone across the rainbow bridge, you know, to get everybody over the bridge, yeah. to get everybody up to the peak. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that light workers and awakening people can do to support an accelerated pathway? You guys are doing a great job holding, you know, holding that frequency of, you know, living without the virus, living that there is, you know, there is no virus. The virus is your own personal fear. That's what's spreading. Fear is spreading. Mm -hmm. Not a virus. Fear. Yeah, that makes sense. So meditation not taking the time to not react, but actually respond. Um, that is hard for everyone as it gets more intense, not to react. Mm -hmm. Keep breathing, keep creating joyful things, congregate in groups and sing for longer than three minutes to adjust your hearts to a group frequency. Group singing are very important. Get together with your friends and go Christmas caroling. Get together with your friends and, you know, sing silly songs or sing hymns or whatever. But sing with your friends. And don't, and it's time for people to find their voices again. If we all had the wind knocked out of us over the year with the not being able to breathe, now it's time to, you know, take that big inhale again 
and hit the high note and don't don't be silent it's not the time to passively let things happen to you or if you see someone being bullied to not stand up for them mm-hmm. even if their belief is different than yours if you witness bullying or someone throwing up their fear on someone else it is very important that that you stand with that person and not let them be bullied alone yeah that makes sense yeah thank you so much let's go ahead and close that soon relaxing very deeply just relaxing very deeply as you let go of that scene allowing the energy to clear and settle as you let go of that scene and now let's move forward to another scene that has information for you we're moving forward to another scene be there now and tell me what you see I see uh, some, uh, okay. The only thing I can see is a flying saucer. It's standing, oh, it's over me, over my head. It's like a disc of energy that's pushing down on my head. It's okay, it doesn't hurt me, it's just there. What is this flying saucer doing? What's it for as you tune into it? It's a shield. Mm -hmm. It's shielding me. It's shielding me as I walk through the energies of the next three months, Mm -hmm. December 14th through March 14th. You will all have to prepare for shocks. And so these shocks, these things can, we can assist if you ask for assistance. Well, because universal law has been violated, we're allowed to step in and assist because things are happening against free will, against choices that were not made. So it's literally like a renegade shield that is, deflecting a lot of that negative frequencies. And does Rita have this or do other people have it? How does this shield She's, work? Yes. Okay, so the beings in the ship are connected to her. Mm-hmm. Those in the ship are around like those, yes. So your star families are here to assist you. Everyone is here. Mm -hmm. So the star families are here. Yes, other people have this ability, these um, assistance as well. A lot of people have this. Most people aren't aware of it. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I'm looking over my town. I'm looking over people's houses and I see these saucers sort of parked kind of on the roof, Mm -hmm. sort of, Mm -hmm. almost like a solar panel, Mm -hmm. taking in the energy and re, you know, re re reorganizing the frequency into a, a positive thing. Mm And you're doing this because it's like free having, will's been violated? Yes. Mm-hmm. Go ahead it's and tell free me. will has been violated. Yes. It's like it's like your cousin from the Pleiades is come for Christmas and has parked their camper on your roof. Oh, that's so wonderful. Yes. It feels really good. like old home week, you know, like where you see all your friends from when you were young and Mm -hmm. 
got that feeling again of going home. Mm -hmm. it's so wonderful. And it's so different than the feeling. Yes. It's, and that I think it's been a hard, this challenge is that there have been waves of this feeling, but in three dimensions, we're not, you don't see it. Mm -hmm. It's a contrast right now. It hasn't totally come physical yet. Mm -hmm. You were saying you're walking through the energy of these next three months and that there's going to be shocks. Tell me more about these energies and events happening in that time frame. What do you see and feel? It's reached a point within the very soon that the whole thing seems so ridiculous that people are not going to buy it anymore. It's a split. Some people are so like they hold on to that. They just hold on to what they know, no matter how painful it was. We spoke about this right before this session, that mm -hmm. sort of that Stockholm syndrome or that sort of identifying with your, your, your uh, abuser. Mm -hmm. Like why a battered woman won't leave kind of thing. Oh, he loves me. This is just, you know, sick or whatever, you know, that, Mm -hmm. People are stuck in that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. While sense. other people are like, other people are moving and like taking their families. I see people like with families, like taking their families and running, like running over the bridge. And other people are like, come on, you could do it. They're like, like with whistles and they're like directing traffic and they're like, like with their hands, they're going, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. You could do it. Keep going. And the people are, they have their, they're huddled with their, they're huddled, mm -hmm. like with their families, like little families, and they're moving along the bridge to get out, to get through the other side. Like I see it over the Golden Gate Bridge, but. Mm -hmm. That just could be a symbol, you know, for a bridge. I don't know if it's an actual physical thing or if that's just like humanity going on its run or if it's really mm -hmm. something like physical. Mm -hmm. I can appreciate the symbolism of and a then, Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. Yes. And then making it to the other side and to that beautiful headlands that are gorgeous and a field and it's sunny and bright and everyone's there waiting to welcome you over and mm -hmm. there's the tunnel with the rainbow that you drive through mm -hmm. and yeah a lot of people talk about this rainbow bridge but i'd like to understand more about what it is and how we experience it Yes, it's actually a metaphor for life in many ways mm -hmm. that each step you take is on this bridge. Mm -hmm. It's like a group of, it's a transition time from one way of thinking into another. Mm -hmm. People can also use it as a metaphor for, um, for death transitioning out of the body, going the rainbow bridge, going home to heaven or set, you know, back to source. But we're using it now as the journey, the progression. We're showing her now images of, have you ever seen a marathon run across the bridge mm -hmm. where there's that many people on the bridge at once? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. The bridge is extremely crowded. 
-hmm. And there are many people going all at once. So wonderful that is happening. It's, it is, it's wonderful that everyone is, it's more than it's ever been. Mm -hmm. It's more than it's ever been going all together. Mm -hmm. And that's what is panicking the dark side is they underestimated how many people were on, on it, on the mm -hmm. journey. And so you were saying that it they these, thought go ahead. no go ahead you were saying that there's going to be shocks of some kind what do you mean by shocks how is that experienced tell me what you see i see lots of politicians i see dirty little secrets i see just like how can we there i see people that are trying to say okay this person signed this into a law if that person is now in prison does it nullify every law they made so there's a lot of people trying to figure out what stands and what is now null because these people are um taken out held accountable it's very hard for her to say this because she's living in fear that this won't happen mm -hmm. so we're pushing it out of her mouth right now mm -hmm. we're pushing out the truth because if we don't push out the truth she's afraid that you know because where you stand right now you see tyranny pushing down mm -hmm. so we're telling you now that they will not they're not going to win Mm -hmm. You will have to stand and you will have to stand tall, but it won't be a bloody battle. Well, now that you have her voice but then open. then there will be a mm -hmm. lot of wreck. Yes, go ahead. Well, now that you have her voice open, go ahead and share freely. <sighs> the shocks that are coming. So there will have to be a lot of just like this determining what is true, what stands, and what has been brought down because of corruption. Mm -hmm. This will take a very long time to weed out. So the, the shocks will be the total annihilation of the media uh, because they have supported this lie. Total annihilation of the vaccination industry. Do not panic. If you're taking a medication that is you feel is keeping you alive, there will be integrity in medicine. It's coming, but the shock of what they have done to everyone will come out. The truth about where this virus, this quote unquote virus, came from, how they make people sick for money, how they keep you sick for a long time to make money off of you. All of this will be so plain that even the most asleep will not be able to, to, they will not be able to write it off as, well, hearsay or conspiracy theory. And then you'll have to deal with the, legal, the legality of the mess of half of your legislature and some people who make the laws for the last 40, 50 years being you know, held accountable by some sort of court system. I'm hearing like, like a judicial court that is global, holding people against, for the crimes against humanity, like more like a Nuremberg style level of trial and not like a Supreme Court or just in one country, it feels it feels like bigger than that. There's a shock and a possibility that we might be under martial law soon. Power outages, sporadic to gather more evidence or to under that cover, get other things done. Um, that's what this is. Government shutdowns are covering up the what it takes to go in there 
and get the information out. Mm -hmm. So the government shutdowns are really what? Show her images. They are, okay, I see, um, I see special operations people going in and going through computers. I see, or confiscating computers. There's something interesting in the computers that the people who are using them for nefarious purposes didn't know they were in there, like, or they thought they weren't being spied on, mm -hmm. or the information wasn't, they thought they deleted it or it wasn't there, but it's still in the computer and they know how to get it out. Mm -hmm. Everything, everything. They have everything. They have mm -hmm. every word you speak, every text message. Every, not just you, I'm not you, but I mean mm -hmm. the guy. You know, the, all the information they have. And I see they work very hard. Like they work, and then they do things. They work very hard, and they do things that look one way like having the military out like a cover mm -hmm. like they'll say oh this is what's going on but really it's something totally different mm -hmm. tell me more about this more potential martial law situation show her images of it describe it to me i see the president is standing on the balcony at the white house and it's like, I see the tree lighting ceremony. And the martial law is not a bad thing. It's yeah. to make sure that the peace is kept while the powers, there's a potential for what they would call a power vacuum. And this would happen if all of the leadership was round is rounded up and most people don't understand, like if, if you've been fed the poison message over the last four years about how Trump orange man bad um, message, it's going to look extremely frightening to you that the Nash, that the orange man has sent the army in to round up your local officials. You're not going to understand that those people that are being rounded up have stolen, stolen from you. They've stolen your money. They've stolen your, your, your chance at a livelihood. They've knocked our country back and they've knocked us back. They tried to knock us down as a group. They can't stop us. They might be able to delay us slightly, but they can't really stop it. Mm -hmm. So they don't want, so it will be very a very confusing time, the martial law, because some people, it'll be hard even for the light workers because they're going to have to make it convincing, you know? Mm -hmm. Just hold the line. It's going to be very odd. Like, don't believe what you see and only half of what you hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's strange. That's the martial law is the cover mm -hmm. for the the possible um, energy an energy vacuum mm -hmm. so that before the new leadership stands up, which a new leadership of course will come, that will be more fair and balanced and a, a bit better reflection of your higher consciousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the likelihood of this martial law event? It depends on um, what happens on the 14th with the counting, with the fraud, with the voting, with the, with the electoral college, that whole scenario. Once that decision is it's made, then we'll move forward. If there's still, con if it's still being contested, through Christmas, 
then the law, the, the, it get, the, the potential for a martial law gets higher. Like if it's still a contested election in January, it, it'll get higher because they've got it all. They know there is, there was the votes, the ballots were all tracked electronically, like by a satellite in a way, in real time. They had threads in them these threads that are so fine you can't see them but they're like they're made out of gold these golden threads in the paper mm -hmm. or something like that i that's mm -hmm. the way it looks it looks like golden threads inside the paper but you can't they're very very small like smaller than a hair they don't and that you wouldn't see them or feel them in the paper mm -hmm. But what they do is transmit in real time. So they counted. So all the real ballots have that thread. Mm -hmm. So they know the real count in real time. But they can't say that to everyone. And I don't, I'm right. not sure why. If people wouldn't believe it or. Let's take a few breaths and relax deeply. It's really everything to slow down, allowing the mind to relax, allowing everything to slow down as the information streams in, and as you relax, I'd like to ask, what's going on with the ballots, and why isn't these why isn't this news more public? It's a giant setup to trap those who wish to cheat and hold. So the ballots, were, they were always, they knew in 2018, they knew, well, they knew in 2016 too, but they really, they saw it um, progress. Mm -hmm. And then in 2018, they could they had used those ballots, the golden thread ballots, so they could see what happened. And so this time they were ready for it. Like this mm -hmm. time they were ready. And mm -hmm. so it was giant setup. They set up the ballot. They set it out to people. They let governors and and local officials and senators and all these people who made the choice, you know, this was it. They caught them. They've got it all. They've got all, they've got the real count, first of all. I hear like something like 80 million in my ear. They got the real count and they knew, so they, they were ready for them to cheat and gave them the opportunity to cheat and now they have to, they know they did it. They're now, it's almost like when you um, back engineer something. Mm -hmm. So now they're, they're going about it to find ways of proving it in the, in the court system that they cheated, but they know on a grander scale that that's what happened. Mm -hmm. that makes so sense. the real civil on, the real civil unrest would come if Joe Biden took office because the majority of America did vote for Trump and those people won't stand for it. And the military really won't stand for it either. They don't want like the heads, like I see the generals with their ribbons on their mm -hmm. chest telling me they're like, we don't want, Joe Biden is not our leader. He is a traitor. And so he doesn't lead us. We, he is not our command. He's not our commander in chief. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. When you were sharing about the new leadership. So the martial law. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you were sharing yes. about the new leadership. Uh, after this, after mm -hmm. this. Show her scenes yes. of what the new leadership is and how it comes about so we can understand it more. So this happens after Trump's next, 
I'm not even sure if he does a full term. It's like that 120 day re, re, um, once we, um, once, once the corporation of the United States is disbarred and we go back to being a constitutional republic, within 120 days, there needs to be elections. He may be elected in, under that. But then after that, after that, there becomes the great compromisers, like people who are not, the duality starts to drain, right? So we're mm -hmm. moving from duality into oneness. And so it's not that a one world government comes or one party system comes. It's just that the divide isn't that one person doesn't stand like, okay, like I am a Republican. So I believe this, 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 and this, and I don't believe this, 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 and this, or I'm a Democrat. So I believe this, 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 and this, but I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. It's not like that anymore. It's not like two aisles. It's mm -hmm. like one chamber. Everyone is unique and everyone with a unique voice finds a compromise to help lead but that we're on that, but only appropriate issues that affect everyone, like all the spending, the money, the taxes, all of that is all going, all that system has got to, is going away. Mm -hmm. All of it, it's mm -hmm. got to go. Um, this like trillion dollar spending packages, this bailing out the airlines, this all bailing out the banks, all of that, all of it ends, all of it. And if things go under, they go under of their own accord. And so, don't that be creates the vacuums, the needs mm -hmm. for things to rise up. Mm -hmm. And so the cre so that's why it's so important to be creative and to have creative people here. The opposite of a demon mm -hmm. is someone because a demon can't be creative. Is a creative person, the human, the human, the light man. He is of the creator, so he's a creator being that, I mean, he could be a he or she, so it's just, mm -hmm. he, he rises to create these beautiful new systems. Um, so each person will find, will really find their, um, their true calling at this time. Um, it's definitely, you know, a lot of light workers have been through a hard time in their lives because they were bringing up this energy and it wasn't the right time, or maybe it hit a wall or something, but within the next you know three to five years all these people all these new systems will come up mm -hmm. healing technologies will come up so you won't need vaccines because you have healing technologies awesome. you know you won't need certain things because certain things come about mm -hmm. but the divide this uh, winner take all this one side does this and then they get into this gridlock of mm -hmm. nothing gets done because we hate you and you hate us and we hate each other and then there's nothing gets done, that's going to go away. Mm -hmm. But that exciting. energy is, says, it is exciting. It's mm -hmm. also, people are nervous that mm -hmm. there isn't enough new energy. They just, but they don't know. Like they haven't seen the potential of, you know, people haven't been given a chance yet to step up into mm -hmm. that leadership position because the old energy is still sitting there. That makes sense. We'll learn a little bit more. Let's go ahead and close that scene. Let go of that energy completely as you relax deeper. I'm going to count down from five to one to help you relax and let go. Each number that I go down, you'll let go twice as much. Going twice as deep. Five. Allowing the face, the head, and the neck and shoulders to relax as you let go. Doubling the feeling as you move down to four. Allowing the stomach and the pelvis and the legs to relax as you move down into three. Feeling the whole body let go as you move down to two. 
relaxing as you let go and move down to one. Now we're drifting to the next scene that has important information for us today. We're moving forward to that next important scene. Be there now and tell me what you see. Where are you? Following me. So the pyramid is now inverted and it's spiraling away. It's taken off. That feels better. The pressure feels better when it does that. It takes off. And it's fading into the horizon. I'm glad that you're feeling some it relief. Feels, mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like a relief. What's happening there as you look around? What's going on? Things are lightening up. Um, um, I see the angels are still working over me. Mm -hmm. They wish to convey a message. Mm -hmm. They're asking us to really take our hearts in our hands and to hold them and to not fear that great joy will come to the earth. God has not abandoned you. We come as messengers of peace in the season of peace and love. We bring you messages of great joy. We see where you stand and we know what is about to occur will be lovely, beautiful, and empowering. The dark ones will be swept away and you will finally see yourselves for who you really are. But this will take many, it may take a two to three generations of new babies being born into this, um, into this, it's, it has to do with the brain. It has to do with dropping trauma from your ancestors. Mm -hmm. that great joy is coming to humanity will be restored to its original blueprint with the upgraded templates of the new energy. We are taking your hearts in our hands. The angels will hold your hearts because the pressure of the next few weeks might get to you heart so just put it we're going to remind you that we have encased your hearts in gold that you wear the armor of god that you are not abandoned that not only do you have our blessing but everyone is cheering for you on the other side. They see it. They know the significance of every human on this planet right now is so significant. Thank you all so very much. From your angelic higher perspective, maybe you can share about 
what's coming over these next few weeks. The choices are coming soon to go with the the one the lie, believe the lie, or believe, you know, the you need to believe you there's a choice. A choice will come. And you just will have to stand. It might be about the vaccine. It might be about something else. But you will have to stand and say no. Everyone will have to stand and say no. It's tough because many people, well, no one likes confrontation. Some people like to fight, but most people do not like confrontation. They just want to have a peaceful life, go about their way. That time it is now time to stand and to speak. And we give the courage to humanity to stand and speak. I see Archangel Michael with a long staff, with a spear, it's a spear, and he gives it to me to hold the spear of courage and I hold it and I encourage everyone to imagine themselves in a full suit of shining armor that you are in God's army and this is the battle that we spoke and sent you here for now will be the time that you must show up with compassionate and kindness when others have lost their way. Fear frequencies are very strong and we ask you to keep up with joy, to play harp music or high frequency sounds. When you play high frequency sounds, lower frequencies dissipate immediately. They can't hold structure. Seeing the suits of armor, many shining knights of armor. And they're in a line going towards the battlefield. Mm -hmm. And what they're going to battle is black, like a black gooey. It's definitely battle of the light and the dark. Thank you so it much. It swirls into each other. Yes. I'm wondering if the angels have any final messages for us before we transition to another thing. Be at peace. We give you peace and we are in a way jealous that we didn't have, that we wish we stood and felt what you feel. But we are grateful for the work that you're doing that we couldn't do and we're in full support, full support at all times. Thank you all so very much. Thank you. And now let us close that scene, relaxing very deeply. Let us drift up and away from that scene. Let us drift away from that scene so that we can speak and connect with Rita's higher consciousness. We are now connected to Rita's higher consciousness. Do I have permission to speak to you? Yes. Thank you so very much for working with us today and bringing the clarity 
that we've all been praying for so that we can understand everything in a good way. I'd like to take some time to ask some questions. Is that appropriate? Yes. Thank you so much. So one of Rita's intentions and also mine before we gathered here today was to really understand the significance of the celestial alignments and you know events coming down the track moving towards 2021. Is there anything else that you'd like to bring forward today that we haven't yet discussed? Saturn and Jupiter are in a boxing ring. They're duking it out. They're pushing on each other, pushing each other around, circling one another like boxers do before the fight. Talking, talking trash, pushing each other around. But in the end, Jupiter overcomes Saturn. Jupiter takes on a dark mark from getting hit, but Jupiter is victorious. And how does that play out on the global scale? Jupiter and Saturn are the light and the dark. They represent the battle of good and evil. And they're squaring off right now. They're like squared or they're coming into square or there's some kind of square off. Mm -hmm. And yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Some people are, have been speaking about the potential of solar flashing on the solstice. Is that a potential or what do you see? Yes, you've already started to experience some flare activity. Whether you didn't take a direct hit, some like a side swipe, mm -hmm. and yet the particles charged in the air, the part, those, okay, so the energy from the sun is driving this mm -hmm. shift in so many ways. Mm -hmm. And so this cycle sun cycle which is just shifting from one to the next mm -hmm. so it's waking it up it's like um it's like it's been taking a nap and now it's waking up for the big show you know it's waking up so we'll get popped off there'll be pop-offs a lot of them a lot of pop-offs a lot of like popping off the sun hit and then we'll be getting these solar flares Mm -hmm. communication grid I'm not sure it's related to a solar flare or if someone says it's related to a solar flare but it's not related to a solar flare There's tell me more about the communication. communicating grid yeah the communication grid <coughs> it's interesting because she's sitting in the dark and of course you and her are connected as you are with so many of your clients through past lives and other experiences in body and out. So at one point you will all be sitting in the dark, sending each other love and intention to communicate through your pineal. It's actually the first step to, the, to humanity becoming telepathic not the first step, but a step towards, a bigger step towards becoming tele tele telepathic mm -hmm. and experiencing more telepathy. So it won't be a permanent wipeout of the grid, but I do see something going down for a few days in order for the roundups. This, this, I don't know, it's hard for her to say because she doesn't want to be wrong. She doesn't want to be judged 
Mm -hmm. you know, that if these things don't happen, but we're telling her it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. These things are happening. Mm -hmm. um, makes sense. So the communication, there may be some time where the communication grids go down. Don't panic. Mm -hmm. Things will come back. Things will come back better than before because the frequencies from the phones won't be um, damaging to the human anatomy. Right now, that many of the frequencies from the phone actually give, are not, they're not good for your body. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and when are these potential blackouts? Can tune into her timing. I see 21, 24, 21, 20 through the 24th. I don't know what month that is. I see March 23rd is another potential. Mm -hmm. um, but I do see little blips like certain websites or certain information sites being knocked off the air. Like I keep hearing NBC is off the air. NBC is off the air. I don't know what that means. Um, and then just certain things like that. Mm -hmm. And okay. people are confused. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they get scared. But it's okay. Everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And she was saying the 21st through the 24th, there might be a possible blackout. <gasps> Which month is that? Maybe you can show her the name. I see March, but I also see December. And I'm not sure why I see both. Mm -hmm. Let's ask your higher consciousness. Why does she see both? There's potentials mm -hmm. for potential purposes that if certain things happen one way, it'll be in December. And if people choose to do things another way, it'll be in March. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can you move the microphone just a little bit to the side? Mm -hmm. Is that better? No, you can bring it or back that to worse? center, please. Yeah, go ahead and bring it back to center. Maybe even like this. Is this better? That's good. Yeah, thank you so much. How does that sound? Really lovely. Okay, yes. Thank you. I know that some people have been wondering and um, if they're still on the ascension pathway. I mean, I know have my understanding, but I know people have been having a really tough time and their frequencies have seemed to have dropped in their experience. I'm wondering what can we share with these people that are having this experience to help them or to uh, let them understand what's happening for them ask them to get go play with the slingshot <laughs> you got to pull it back in order to let that rock fly so tell them to go play with the slingshot they're just like a wave at the ocean when it pulls back in before it it goes further up onto the shore mm -hmm. they're just in a pullback pattern things are happening in waves they don't happen in straight lines but their energy is being sucked back to be pushed forward with great speed. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing that. Nothing, yes, nothing can stop the mm -hmm. ascension. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm wondering um, about things like you know, some people talk about star seeds being taken off the planet, or I think the Christian church speaks about rapture and things like this. How does that translate to what can potentially happen? What would that look like um, if it's, you know, if it's true or not? Right. So it's not like it's not, it's not like you're going to walk around and find piles of clothes on the side of the highway, like people just poof, you know, it's not going to be like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So as the missions, okay, so we're completing, we're actually in the completion side of the Ascension mission. Mm 
Mm-hmm. So we're towards the end of it. Okay. So some of the specialists that came in the first wave, Dolores Cannon talks about the three waves. Mm-hmm. The first waivers, they kind of, you know, they set this tone, the second waivers come in, third waivers come in. So as they complete their mission and complete the waves, or as the as a person completes their mission, they will transition. So there'll be a lot of people transitioning out of the energy, especially as the energy is coming. Um, those people held a very specific energy frequency that would get us from one spot to the next. But maybe now the energy coming in from the universe that we were speaking about, that may be too intense for their biologies. It's going to transition. And that way they can either make a choice to come back and do the next section of the mission in a new, um, in new biology with new DNA, or um, they can go ahead and transition to new earth where um, like we're talking about the bridge, the rainbow bridge and how that is, how we're moving from, you know, third density to fourth to fifth, moving up the density ladder that the next time you incarnate on this planet, it will not be as challenging as it was this time. It won't feel like you're putting a square peg in a round hole. It will feel more like, ah, like the way we gave her that when she was the blue planet and it, the beta, the, the beta and theta waves felt better on her brain. It will feel like that to everyone. The next time you reincarnate here, it will not be, um, as painful to be here, as hard to be here. The energy actually gets easier. Um, so what, uh, I can't remember if I answered the question. <sighs> you did, we were talking about souls leaving the planet in mass. Um, oh yes, 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 yes. And it's all very appropriate. Mm-hmm. Even like that, the tsunami that was on Christmas back in 2002, mm-hmm. I think, or mm-hmm. 2001, somewhere back then, mm-hmm. there was a mass exodus. And that was in preparation for the energies to, to recycle and be present now as youth, young babies, mm-hmm. you know, or young people. They're like 10 now, 10, mm-hmm. 11, 12. Mm-hmm. Um, or maybe even older. Well, anyway, they're in around then that that was appropriate to, um, Mm -hmm. it was an energy, it was needed so that that energy could come back in Mm -hmm. with fresh DNA that could be, um, that would be more, um, yeah. I don't know how to explain it. Well, easier to work in, easier, easier to get your missions accomplished. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Um, yes, mm-hmm. yes. And so uh, because the energy and the frequencies um, can be hard on people's heart, especially if you carry a lot of old energy, you might feel it in the heart, like mm-hmm. heart attack, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. Since you're speaking about tsunami, I'm wondering about the timeline of earth changes and what that looks like. What, when people speak about earth changes and weather events and things like that and seismic activity, what is that timeline and what are we actually talking about when we're describing the earth changes? Maybe you can show her images of it and talk about it. Yes. I see hot spot underneath the earth. Mm -hmm. like magma chambers Mm -hmm. moving. I see a a lot of energetic beings holding, holding down earth changes, like making them not as severe, like instead of it being a six point something earthquake, it's a three point something earthquake. I see a lot of energetic beings working on um minimizing the effects of the earth changes the weather is manipulated all over the planet there is no natural weather right now 
So that is another thing that's being, um, but it's also a reflection of your consciousness not being natural, not you, but collectively human consciousness. Is... What's weird is that human thought can control the weather. I know we don't really know this yet, um, but like if a group got together and prayed for rain, they could create the rain. And so when the weather um, control systems go down, what happens to the weather? How does it, will it regulate? Go, it, will, it will regulate. It will regulate itself. So it has to do with the oceans. It will, um, it will go back to a more natural flow where it won't be quite as dramatic a storm, like not quite as severe a storm. The, I see rain forming over the oceans and flowing over the United States in like a natural way where right now they're pushing it down to Mexico. Like they're pushing it off California, down to like off Washington, off California, down to Mexico. And then they're sucking it into the Gulf and then pushing it back up through the middle of the East Coast, like through the middle of the country, back up the East Coast. So it's creating a lot of, um, it's creating drought in California and saturation in like Iowa. And then, and then, yeah. So they're just screwing around. Mm -hmm. And what about things like pole shifts and crustial shifts? Are those things that are going to happen in our generation? Yes. So the magnetics, yes. So the magnetics of the planet are always moving. So your, your electromagnetic field is always moving. And so is the Earth. It like shifts, you know, like it, it moves, like wiggles. Um, it's possible to have a, ma like a nor like a magnetic pole shift, but it won't be like, the world flips upside down. Mm -hmm, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. actually, it's a, it's something that biologically won't kill you. Like it's not that kind of an event. It's mm -hmm. um, the magnetics are definitely being um, played with, mm -hmm. not in an in a nefarious way. I, I played with um, that cloud, that fog that I saw coming through the universe. Mm -hmm. That plays with the magnetics of the planet it dances together with the fog mm -hmm. the dancing fog and then earth's magnetics dances the lines all start dancing with the fog mm -hmm. and um it changes so when the earth's electromagnetic field changes our electromagnetic field changes mm -hmm. um, our magnetics are deeply connected to the planet magnetics you'll see shifts in magnetic changes like when you see oh like like thousand whales beach themselves in australia then that is an indication those are all beings that use electromagnetics for guidance and so when they when their electromagnetics is still operating in one way and there's a big We have returned. I see you. Good. We have returned. Good. Go ahead and close your eyes. We're back. Did you did you hear? Okay. What I heard. Did you hear the, last, the magnetic? Mm -hmm. So what I heard last was that the, you know, that we are that the animals are also connected to the magnetics, and so when those shift, you know, there might be beached whales and things like this. Yes, that's it. I'm wondering if there's anything else that wants to be brought forward that we haven't discussed yet. Anything else that's important for us to know? Yes. We're going to clear the interference on the call first.
we know that the answer to the black cube mm -hmm. is to cap it with a pyramid. Mm -hmm. We know that that black shiny surface is an illusion. Like it's, it's, um, like it absorbs the energy. So we're going to cap it with something white. We're going to peel off the black silks and we're going to cap it. We're going to drape it in white. What will this do? And we're, this will, um, this changes the hum the hum of the box, which I guess is the frequency of the box, the hum, the noise it makes. It makes a noise. Mm -hmm. It makes a sound. Mm -hmm. you know, so it changes that when you put the white cloth over the cube. We're also going to cancel there are some predictive programs that were run in previous years in your earth time that will try to manifest soon. So we're going to cancel that predictive programming. We are working with not just her, but many beings all over the planet are all connected at this very moment. And we are canceling certain events, certain kit timelines. These are canceled, null, and void. What type of events are those that you're speaking of? What have you canceled? These are predictive programmings run through um, TV, whether they're movies or TV or things like that that have a very doom and gloom sort of humanities going down the toilet kind of um, storyline. And many people have got that sort of in their head that if they see this or they see something like it, then their life is over. This life is over kind of thing. So we have been, there's been a much programming over the last, you know, 30 to 40 to 30 years, 50 years of programming, 70 years of programming. So we are working right now to cancel a lot of that just basically erasing it from people's memories. They don't remember it. So it doesn't trigger them when they see something that looks familiar mm -hmm. in this life. Makes sense. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm wondering, you know, Ron and I had felt this call to travel down to Arizona. Um, we passed through Vegas and 